Hello everyone. Uh, this video series is on solving gate problems on structure analysis from the year 2005 to 2015. So in this first video, we will be solving 2015 set one paper. There were in total uh, four five problems in uh, 2015 set one. I have taken three major problems from structures. So this is the first problem in which uh, there is an indeterminate beam being given and it is asked to find the support moment at M. Now, this is an internal hinge. Uh, this is an internal hinge. As already explained in the video series on structure analysis, that the internal hinge do not transfer moment but it transfers shear force. So if I break this beam along the internal hinge, it will transfer 10 kN shear force on the left side and 10 kN on the right side. So this becomes 10 kN and now if I again simplify it, it will be like this a 10 kN meter moment being applied at suppose this is A, so this has A joint. Now as we have seen in the previous video series that when the far end is fixed and the near end is given rotation, given moment, the carryover moment at this end will be equal to half of this value, so 5 kN meter. Now, this is the carryover moment, but it is asked what is the value of support moment M. So this will be of opposite sign resisting this uh, 10 kN. So the answer will be, since the direction given is similar to this direction, the answer to this question will be 5 kN meter. This was the first question. In the second question, it was a truss uh, being given. So if you see this truss, it has a 5 kN and 10 kN load at the top and it is asked to find the force in the member XY. Now, this method could be solved by both method of sections and method of joints. But uh, let me first do it by method of joints and then I'll tell you a quick trick to solve it by method of sections also. So how do you solve this problem is first you calculate the reactions. So if you are, this is point A, this is point B, I assume this is to be, so I just calculate the reaction directly. If I assume this to be RB upward, RB into A like this, so into 3 sorry, RB into 3, this is in anti-clockwise direction, 10 into 9 is in clockwise direction, so 10 into 9 and 5 into uh, 3 is also in the clockwise direction. So this comes out to be 0, the value to this will be, the value to this comes out to be 10 into 9 plus 5 into 3 divided by 3 gives you 35 kN. Now if this is 35 kN and the top 5 kN is acting, RA plus RB should be 5. Therefore, RA will be equal to 5 minus 35, that is minus 30. So, this value will be downward 30 kN. Now, I'll erase the reactions now. So, I have obtained the reactions. The next thing that I have to do is, I need the force in this member. So, let me first consider the joint A. Now, if I consider joint A, 30 downward. So, this obviously has to be 30 upward. And this will be, since this is a hinge over here, your reaction will be opposite to the load, that is 10. So here this is 10 kN, so this will be 10. So this is FAB and this is FAX. Still I cannot go to this point because I still have 3 unknowns. But as per the concept of method of joints, they should be maximum 2 unknowns. So I come to the joint B now. In order to estimate joint uh, member in the force BX, force in the member BX, sorry. So joint B. If I consider joint B, I have reaction upward of 30 and uh, this is 35 sorry so this reaction of 35 and I have this known force as 10 kN I don't know this and I don't know this these are the two angles but I am interested only in basically FBX so this angle will be 45 degree because it is 3 and 3 so this is 45 so I can the sign will be like this so I can say FBX cos 45 is equal to 10. So 10 divided by cos 45 gives you FBX as 14.14 kN. Now I know this force and this force. Only two unknowns are there. Now I can go to the joint X and I can draw like this and I can draw like this. Now this is FBX compression. So I make it like this 14.14. 
this is 45 degree I have this known as 30 kilo Newton away from the joint so tension and uh, I don't know this so I am not interested in that force also I am interested in this that is fxy so I can say 14.14 cos 45 is equal to f of xy so that gives you value as 10 kilo Newton fxy is equal to 10 kilo Newton so the answer to this question is 10 kilo Newton so this was my method of joints I'll just quickly tell you how to solve this problem within uh, like 10 seconds so if you take this method of section says that first they should the section under consideration the member under consideration should be cut so for example if I take this section this is my xx section now if this is my xx section is the force under consideration sorry the member under consideration cut yes and it also says that the other two members should meet at a joint right now I am not interested in that particular property because this is a horizontal member so I don't have to take any movement about something I can simply take the summation of horizontal so let me just uh, take the FBD so this is released this remains like this this remains like this this remains like this there is a 10 kN acting like this and 5 kN acting like this so this member is released I am releasing the force in this also at this location this is FXY which is released right and also this is released that is say FYB so there are three members three members being released ok now I am interested in force in the member F of XY so what I can do I can simply take summation of horizontal taking right positive equal to 0 what are the forces in horizontal plane see this is vertical I can't take this is vertical and this is vertical so I will eliminate these sorry this is horizontal so these three are vertical so if I take F of XY going this way as minus plus 10 equal to 0 this directly gives me fxy is 10 kN so this is how method of sections can be very very useful in some cases so the next problem is the easy problem which is a one which came for one mark it was simply asked what is the value of the k11 so while explaining stiffness matrix I told you that when one when the if the far end is fixed and k11 is a displacement and if this is given a displacement then that I can say is 12 EI delta by LQ is the P force so the force required to produce a displacement delta is 12 when the far end is fixed is 12 EI by LQ so what is stiffness? stiffness is P by delta so your answer is 12 EI by LQ for this that is option number B so these were the problems on 2015 set 1 next video we will see 2015 set 2 uh, structure problems